Hello, this is Whitney Smetana with Smart Base Solutions. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this webinar. We appreciate that you um, your feedback in reference to these future updates. Um, so please feel free uh, to reach out to myself or Jenny Mann regarding any questions or feedback that you have with these new updates. After the group remarketing acquisition, SmartBase Solutions reviewed system requirements and delivery expectations with Close Mentor Corporate and with the team here internally. We spent the last um, 60 days going through a discovery process created a resources plan, and as of recently, completed the first phase of the development plan. Uh, today, we will walk you through the re recent deployment of the PERF update. And then, again, as I mentioned before, we look forward to improving, so uh, we hope to receive any additional feedback um, so that we can better assist you through this process. So first, we will go into the service update with the PERF update you on the self-service option, we will go into reporting, and then finally we will do a recap. So first, um, we will discuss the deployment um, updates that were made on 12-15, uh, specifically rebranding uh, the dashboard, the package page, and the task manager section. And then finally, training and documentation. Uh, the webinar is recorded. And then you will also have a cheat sheet that is available on Fran Connect as well. So first, I would like to show you what the new PERF looks like. So as you can see, uh, we have now rebranded. We are no longer EI3 or Connect Plus, as maybe you might have heard before. Um, we've branded it to now be Drive Loyalty. The second piece that I want to go in depth with is the package pages. A lot of owners really struggle with determining what package um, to get to, and so the first piece that we really wanted to highlight is the differences between the package page on uh, the packages uh, from a design point. So, if you look at the standard package and then move through the enhanced package, you can see that they do look very different. The first one is very standard. Um, the font is bold, um, just very clean, um, nothing fancy. As you move up to the enhanced section, you see that we have updated the font to some script font. Um, and as you can see, there is a little cut within the image versus here. It's just a plain image. We didn't, we didn't alter this image in any way, but we did do that here a little bit. Then you move to the advanced package where you see that this copy has now moved on top of the image, so there's some overlay with the with fonts, there's overlay with um, blocks and so forth. And so again, from a visual standpoint, if you want something that's pretty standard, or do you want something that's a little bit more advanced, has a um, little bit more visual appeal to it? So that's the first thing. Second piece is the difference between the package um, add-ons. So before you get started, determine what add-ons you want to include with your main message. So for instance, if you had a girls' night out um, event, so the main point of your message in here is going to be girls' night out but maybe you wanted to have an additional message underneath that. That's going to be your add-on. Okay? So look through each package, determine what additional messages that you want, and then from there, then you can choose your package. So at the standard package, there is a, a limited amount of add-ons versus as you move to the enhanced, there's an additional um, amount of add-ons, and then as you get to the enhanced, there's quite a bit different um, add-ons compared to the standard package. And so with that, the big piece is that the standard package, we really want to do a quick turnaround. These are emails that we're really not touching a ton, uh, not a lot of um, account management and design create, uh, creative work is done in the standard package. 
once we move to the enhanced level, that is where internally we are spending a lot more time from an account management standpoint and from a creative design standpoint to put these together. And so that also kind of applies within the packages for costs associated. The second piece, or the third piece I should mention is going to be the calendar that has now been removed and we have now moved to a promotional email manager tool. Um, here we like to highlight each section here, action needed. This is going to be if you need to take some sort of action, you need to take a look at your promotional email. Um, you can click on that. It will take you to the email for you to view. You can make your changes or you can approve that email. The second section is the monitoring section. This is going to be that your request has been sent to us um, and is either in account management review or design is working on um, creating that email for you. Now, once you have approved your email, uh, you will see that in the scheduled section, all emails that you have scheduled for, um, for sent. The next section is sending. So say you have an email that is scheduled to go out tomorrow at 8 a.m. You can go in at 8 a.m. and you can view um, that your email is in the process of sending in this section. Finally, it's going to be the completed section. This is going to be where it will list out all of the different emails that you have either um, that have either completely sent or if you had decided that you created an email, you didn't want to do the promotion anymore, and you canceled it. These canceled emails are also going to show up in here so that you are aware that those emails were canceled and then they will not go out. So it's just another communication for you guys to know that your emails were sent or that they were canceled and will not be sent out for you. Here is a PERF cheat sheet. This is available on Fran Connect. It just highlights the um, main pieces that we have updated. Again, specifically the package stages, the approval calendar, and then also the dashboard, which we will go in in just a moment. So with reporting, uh, we sat down with Close Mentor Corporate. Um, we <clears throat> wanted to really find out um, what you guys are looking for and then um, and really improve on that for you guys. So what we are doing in the process now is we are stripping out any of the reports and really streamlining this process for you guys. And so that when you guys do look at these reports, um, you can take action on them based upon what's available for you. The second major piece that we're really excited about is that owners will have the ability to pull some of their own reports. And so an example would be the top 100 report. So um, sometimes we'll have owners call and say, hey, I want a list of my top 100 shop customers. Um, please provide, um, you know, for the last year, all of those top 100 with the amount that they had spent for the year. That information you will be able to pull yourself. Um, and that update will be towards the end of January. Um, another example would be activity updates. And so um, you can pull those on your own uh, or the email address collection report. So currently you guys get those on a weekly basis. Um, if you wanted to, you can uh, pull that on a monthly basis. So right now I manually do that for a few owners. You will be able to pull in your dates and select um, you know, whatever you want, and then it will generate the email address collection report based upon those dates that you have selected. The next piece is going to be email deliverability. Uh, we recently sent out a newsletter to all owners um, discussing in depth um, about the email verification process and how that all works. 
Uh, we use a verification service to ensure that email addresses are valid before we attempt to send those out. Um, again, if um, you do not um, have that email, uh, we do have the email verification uh, newsletter available on Brand Connect for you to go look at. Um, and you can download that and um, educate yourself a little bit more about how this process all works. And here is a sample of what that looks like. Again, so when you're going to Spread Connect, you can kind of take a peek at this, what this actually looks like. So the next major piece that we're really excited about is the self-service um, development phase. Uh, we are looking to deploy this towards the end of January. Uh, we will be working with the FAC in Closed Venture Corporate to test out this new system. We call this a, is a wizzy wig, what you see is what you get. It is very similar to what you guys currently use or some of you that you use with um, Constant Contact where you have the ability to create your own email and send your email on your own. Uh, we will input um, specific templates that uh, Close Mentor provides um, to us uh, so that you can make the changes as you see fit or you can also work from the ground up as well. So again, this self-service option uh, removes um, SmartBase from touching any creative. This is simply you log in, you're able to select a template, make your changes, and then, most importantly, you can pull your own email list and send as you would like. The email list section is very important because the big difference between constant contact and ourselves is that you currently do not have the ability to segment out your email list based upon transactional data through constant contact. You will now be able to pull your own email list and segment out based upon transactional data. And again, this deployment will be available with the whole service self-service deployment. Finally, um, we in the future here, we're still determining a date. We will be um, having IBM Silver Pop functionalities included within the PERF and self-service um, development piece. First, I'd like to go into uh, the Silver Pop functionalities. So some of these functionalities include um, multi-channel campaigns, so you'll be able to create a campaign that includes an email, maybe direct mail, maybe a phone call, or a mobile push notification. Uh, the functionalities also include uh, send time optimization, so every recipient will receive an email at the same time when the recipient is most likely to open up their email, based upon previous open times recorded in SilverPop. So say, for instance, you sent out two emails um, at 8 a.m. and I specifically open up my email at 5 p.m. consistently. Although you had sent out that email at 8 a.m., that email will not get to my inbox until 5 p.m., which will help with that send time um, open rate um, for your customers. Another functionality is the ability to score customer engagement based upon their behavior. So what is their email open, their click-through, what is their app usage, web usage, uh, versus their, just their dollars spent through the POS. And then finally, uh, we are working through this uh, feature currently with Closed Venture Corporate, um, but we will have another layer of email verification um, that will um, enable us to eliminate the possibility of using our current system, Amazon. Again, uh, you can get more education through that email or that email verification newsletter. But this email verification process would be um, an example. Would be once a customer comes in, they shop, provided their email address. The next day, they get a welcome email, and then in that email we can ask them to um, verify that their email address is correct 
and then that allows the customer to verify the email address rather than a third party source verify that email. Now that is just an example. Um, we are working with closed venture corporates to determine how we want to handle that verification system process. Um, but again, we have heard um, from owners that the email verification system that we are currently using um, does not match up to what uh, they currently are using um, with constant contact. So we are working closely with corporate to make sure that we're able to uh, put together a system that works very uh, well for you guys on the front end for email uh, functionality deliverability. So with that, as a recap, again, um, the perf updates were deployed. So the branding is different, the dashboard is completely different, um, and that task manager is up and running. Really no more calendar, no more confusion with that. The reporting that will be available in late January 2017. The self-service option is going to be available at the end of January as well. And then finally, the IBM functionality that we went over in depth, that is going to be available um, to be determined. Um, we are working closely um, internally to determine a date that is going to work, um, and we will notify the network once we've been able to determine that date. So with that, that is all that we have. Um, again, I want to thank you for listening in, and we appreciate your business. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us Smart Base Solutions a call, and we'd ha be happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Thank you for your time, and you have a great day.